All right, so one question that I get a lot is how do I create more bat speed? And one of the easiest ways to create more bat speed is to have your body work in a better sequence. So what I mean by a better sequence is essentially your lower body, as your swing begins, your leg's gonna start to turn and your upper body and your barrel are gonna start to work back behind that leg. So my leg starts to turn forward, my upper body, my barrel start to turn back. And there's this stretch or separation that is created between our upper body and our lower body. And that allows the barrel to be slingshotted through the hitting zone. So that allows us to create a ton of bat speed. Now, there's a lot that goes into that, but one of the biggest issues that I see with players is that they don't do a good job of resisting with their upper body as they start to stride out and then as they initially begin to turn their legs. So what happens is they start to wanna to get their upper body going forward. So they'll stride forward, but their upper body will start to come with them. And if our upper body starts to come with us as we stride forward and as our leg starts to turn forward, well, now we're out of sequence. We're working from the top down and there's no separation or stretch created within our body. And so how do we fight against that? Very, very simple way to do so is two steps. First thing is when you start to load and stride out, Think about taking the knob of your bat and keeping your knob at the catcher's feet. So I'll do it from this angle so that you can see exactly where the knob is. So the catcher would be back here. As I start to load and stride, notice how my knob works towards the catcher. As my front foot is about to come into the ground, and right as my brain is gonna tell my body to go and hit, my knob has gotta be somewhere around the catcher's feet. Now, every hitter, if we go through and watch all the best hitters in Major League Baseball, they're all gonna be slightly different, right? So you're gonna have some hitters that are at the catcher's feet. You might have some hitters that maybe are at the catcher's face mask. You might have some hitters that are a little bit less in the catcher's feet, right? But the the knob of the bat is gonna be somewhere back here. You're not gonna see a major league hitter get ready to hit, and as their foot is about to come into the ground, you're not gonna see the knob pointing out at the camera right here. You're not gonna see that. But we work with thousands of players, both online and in our facility, and a lot of players will show up and You'll see all types of stuff, but you'll see a ton of players where this knob is pointed somewhere around here when they want to launch the swing. And it's got to get, we call it pulled back here. So you've got to feel resisting with your upper body. My upper body should resist as I start to stride out. And then as my leg begins to turn, I still feel that little bit of resistance and then my barrel is turned and released into the ball. So think about simple, keep the knob towards the catcher's feet. The other thing you can think about is this top hand. I'm a righty, so think about your top hand and your top arm. Think about keeping that arm behind your hands. So knob to the catcher's feet, arm behind my hands. Same thing, if you go watch a bunch of major league players, elite players, you're gonna see this arm sometimes will be slightly below the hands, slightly above the hands, but you're never, gonna, you're never gonna see this. You're never gonna see them go to launch their swing and look like this. Yet you'll see this a lot when you watch youth players that are struggling. So those are two easy things. Knob at the catcher's feet, arm behind the hands. Resist as you start to move out. You're gonna put yourself in a way better position to create that stretcher separation between your lower body, your leg turning, and your upper body. So if you do that, I can almost guarantee your bat speed is gonna go up. We have players come in here, and within 30 minutes, if I see that a player is doing a really poor job of resisting, we put them through some drills, we give them some feels, and immediately their bat speed can go way up. 
in one session. We've made a lot of videos on that. It's like 30 minutes and people are like, there's no way you can create that much more bat speed with a player in 30 minutes. You had to have had them for way longer. No. Some players it takes longer, but there's a lot of players, depending on their swing, if, if they're one of these players right here, we just get them back into this position and all of a sudden their body starts to work better. So hopefully that helps you out. If you wanna get even more in depth on not just this, but all areas of hitting, click the link in the description box down below. We have our Build Me Elite Swing course. We have a bunch of other courses as well. If you wanna check those out and get more in depth, go down and click that link. That's all we have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later.